Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Today I'm going to give you a little rundown on how to uh, join and share content in a meeting with a Microsoft Teams room system. So without further ado, on with the show. As you can see, I've got both screens um, actually presented in this. So on the right, you've got the, the actual meeting touch panel. And on the left, you've actually got the in-room display. So you can see I've got a meeting in the actual uh, calendar on the on the on the rail there. And what happens is is when it's time to join the meeting you just press the join button and you can actually uh, enter into the meeting As you can see um, this is the self view of the camera from here what you can do is you can add participants you can also turn off the camera mute change the volume mute the actual sound bar itself as well on the other screen you can't see i'm actually going to go ahead and join the meeting from here as well, you've actually got the participant um, list, but you, from here you can actually, you know, mute and unmute a participant. You can actually pin them to the actual foreground if they're presenting video. Um, if you've actually got something plugged into the device, whether it's the um, uh, via cable or using the, the wireless sharing dongle here, you can actually uh, start presenting from there as well. So on the other screen, I'm going to share something. All right, so this is what it looks like when somebody, uh, one of the participants in the meeting actually shares into the into the session. So, you know, as they scroll through the presentation, everything changes, you know, they can start talking through all that kind of stuff. They've actually got a stop sharing button when they're ready to stop sharing. Um, on the actual center room touch control, you've got the ability to change the view as well. So this is presentation mode, but if you've got remote people on video, for instance, you can change the layout just by pressing that button there. And then your video uh, presenters are there as well. So this could be a person in a remote office that's actually doing a presentation for you and talking you through the slide deck and, and, and actually capturing their video in the room as well. And from here as well, you can you know, obviously go ahead and um, add participants if you wanted to. Type of myself, and you can add somebody. If you do want to dial the number, you just go ahead and press the keypad. And if your room count actually has the auto conferencing license, you can actually go ahead and dial that person into the meeting as well. So, as you can see, it's pretty easy to join a scheduled meeting. I'm going to go ahead and end that for now. Right, so let's just say you wanted to um, bring in somebody from the outside and and um, let them present. So this is, this is somebody that's actually uh, in the room in person and you wanna show some stuff to an external participant, for instance, um, and, and share into the actual meeting itself. I'm gonna go ahead and join the meeting here again. And as you can see, I'm the only one in, but I'm gonna join Luke Skywalker in as well. So you can see you got myself and you got Luke Skywalker in there. So I've also got a laptop next to me as well, um, and I'm going to show sharing. So you can see the share tray is actually grayed out. However, uh, what you don't know is I've actually got the wireless dongle actually plugged into this other laptop. So I'm just going to press it, and instantly you can see that the screen of that laptop is shared. So this is you know using the wireless dongle from Yaling as the WP20. Um, it instantly shares. Um, it's a bit like the Barco click share and those kind of things. Um, and uh, and you can share anything that's on the screen. So if you can see, I can actually end the sharing if I wanted to. You can see that it's actually sharing. Now, if I click on there, you can actually stop sharing directly from this. So if, if I wanted to from now, I can actually just go ahead and start the slideshow. So on my other screen, I'm actually joined into the meeting itself as well. Uh, and I can see the presentation. So just using the wireless dongle to, to present into the room is actually presenting this into the Teams meeting. This laptop over here isn't actually in the Teams meeting. It's just using the, the sharing dongle. And it would be the same if I was using an HDMI or, or a DVI cable or what have you as well. Uh, from here, if I want to as well, I can also change the layout as I did before. And again, you know, that could be somebody remotely that's actually joined on video and actually just seeing the, the sharing session. And then of course, as I, you know, advance through the, the deck you get you get everything so i'm actually in you know the presenter mode actually on in powerpoint on this on this other laptop okay 
nothing else to say except for thank you very much for watching. I really hope this has been useful. If it has, please take a moment to like and share. I'm going to try and do these a lot more often, so you'll be seeing a lot more of me. Thanks very much. Bye for now.